Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Um, I was listening to Jackie Wilson this morning, and um, when I tell my mother, <laughs> she's going to probably holler, but um, it was just uh, an experience listening to To Be Loved and um, be able to say that you have been loved um, and you can embrace the fact that you have been loved even if the love did not sustain the relationship. Um, and the reason why I guess I, I looked at that is because, you know, so many people working in the coaching field, so many people look at um, it didn't work out um, in relationships and it did work out because it manifested what it was supposed to. Right. And that's the way that we're able to change our perception to be loved, not to be love or in love. And so, um, I began to share with my women's group, um, my thoughts on the song, of course, it's the song that, you know, Eddie Murphy sings in um, Coming to America. But, you know, when you wake up um, and you hear to be loved, oh, what a feeling to be loved. Um, it's something that some someone will run away from and some will embrace. And I myself will embrace it because I realize that to be loved means that I must love myself. The other thing is, is when I love myself, I will um, attract love. You know, on the side of what couples in relationships experience, such as disappointment, hardship, you know, and pain, it can all be worked out. But the difference in the working out is the levels of agreement and commitment that we have in those relationships that are to um, manifest love. Then the other thing is, is that we all come from different backgrounds, families, walks and talks of life, um, other countries. And with that being said, the love um, is not always um, discussed when we go into relationships. We generally just, you know, um, hook up and uh, begin to think that hooking up or going to bed, the feeling um, from, you know, um, intimacy is love. And it's not. Love is every day expressing how you feel with um, someone and how they feel. Um, love is loving yourself. Love is understanding who you are and who they are, and so on and so forth. And so love is acceptance through the good and the bad. Let's just go there. And if you can't accept someone because of a mistake they made, then that means that there is a need of self-examination for them, and we can't tell them that. If I have the same issue, then I need to self-examine or come to a realization that is something that I need to learn about being in a relationship. But at the end of the day, there's a part of a man and a woman um, where they tried their best and it didn't work or they tried their best and they're still there together. That love is there. You tried your best and it didn't work. Resonate on the part. Did he really hurt you or was it some part of him that just didn't know how to, you know, be there for you in whatever uh, challenge that came up. Is it that she didn't love you? Or was it that she just didn't know how to take care of some of the areas of life that you knew how to take care of and that you wanted? The differences will jade the love that we have, you see? And so, you know, to hear that song, for all of those having relationship challenges, it really, really helped me to pinpoint um, what I feel. Because 
you know, what I feel in relationships is I want a relationship that um, brings security, not that you have to bring it all, but we're secure in ourselves as an individual. Um, then we bring it together and that we can work together to create something. Now, if I hadn't studied that or studied myself throughout the years, I wouldn't have understood that about myself. So security is important to me because I have a idea of every day that I get up, what I'm going to do, regardless of um, how others think that that should be, we should format our day in such a way. And, you know, if you are in a relationship with someone that doesn't have that same um, consistency, it can be um, frustrating. Well, we can't change them, but what we can look at is maybe changing something about how we synchronize our day or just really look at the fact that it doesn't work for you, right? And it doesn't work because you don't want to change anything. And these are things that, you know, couples deal with. And so whenever you're, you know, ready to um, compromise in the relationship and say, okay, well, I'm with someone that gets up and, you know, they're um, running around the house singing when I want to be quiet, then we can compromise and vice versa it will work because we find a way to work out the conflict or the glitches that are there. But these are some of the things that break up relationships, mind you. And behind that, there is love. Behind the fact that I want to get up and run around the house and sleep in late, um, causing a conflict, behind it is love. And the love is jaded. The love is shaded. The love can't be seen. And once you're out of the relationship, the love is um, seen because there's a healing that takes place. But, you know, moving on, you know, I just want to add for those that struggle with, I've never been loved. Just because you went through a breakup doesn't mean that you were never loved. You got to look back. And if you keep the idea of I've never been loved, then what happens is, is that love will never come in. Any love energy that's trying to come to you, um, a male or a female that's trying to come into your life, it will never come because that idea of I've never, or it wasn't what I wanted. Sometimes it's not going to be what you want. You two have to make it what you want together because once you come into a, a relationship, it's an agreement. You're not individuals anymore. You are um, couples companion. And that's why we have the word couple. So I'm going to just read a little bit of what, you know, I was um, writing down um, how can you manifest love with no gratitude of what your experience should have taught you regarding yourself. And that means if you were an experience and it seemed like it was controversy and conflict, did you look beyond the controversy and the conflict because the distractions tend to keep us from seeing what is true, right? Um, lessons in life, um, they're mirrors. You know, a lot of times people don't know that we attract people that have some of the same behaviors and because we don't see or know ourselves, we can't see that they're actually um, mirroring back something that we're doing. Um, I believe in the power of sacrifice. And that means that um, the sacrifice that you make for a relationship is the sacrifice that will be made for you. Now that is um, a big, broad statement, but sometimes you have to go through something and you are the sacrifice to learn what you've been trying to earn, such as love. And that means that you are gonna be sacrificed to understand what you really want. Because many people run to and fro to other relationships trying to find or searching for love and they don't really find the satisfaction because they haven't satisfied their own selves by sitting down and making a sacrifice to understand what it is that they want. And generally, you're learning through relationships 
and that is your schoolroom. That is your classroom, you see. And so many will see it differently. So, you know, I said here, we believe, you believe all you did and sacrifice was about others, but in fact, the experience should have taught us that we were learning the power of sacrifice um, with no conflict. That means sometimes you just have nothing to say. You can't, um, you know, fight back. You, you need to examine what's happening. The power of sacrifice will yield the fruit we planted. Think of the garden when you're being called to be the lamb because the lamb is what was sacrificed. And so many times religion and, you know, spirituality, people are looking at, um, oh, well, that's, you know, Jesus or that's Buddha or somebody, you know what I'm saying? And that's not a fact. Wherever a sacrifice is made of a pure heart, um, love, humility, the Beatitudes tells us that there is um, a garden that will grow a harvest, read the be attitudes. So um, at least you can learn who you are through the situation that you're going through the sacrifice. Uh, and as for others, uh, allow them to learn the power of sacrifice. And that means that, you know, if you were in a relationship and they didn't learn what they needed to, that's fine, as long as you get what you need to get um, out of it. Because now you can move on and say, um, I have been loved. And some will say, well, I haven't, you know, I wasn't, you know, and that's okay. Look at and begin to pray to understand love. You know what I'm saying? Because um, the love is not just an intimate situation. Love is embracing all the things that we've been through love in life and saying that I'm grateful no matter what, because I got something out of it. Amen. And so um, I hope that you guys get something out of that because at the end of the day, to be loved is something others have never experienced. And I celebrate those that have the ability to see beyond the illusion of the situations that they've been through and say, yes, you know, I was loved, but it just didn't work out. And find that you can um, live life happy with the fact that you were loved. But remember that you love yourself, right? And that's the part. So you guys have a wonderful day and be blessed.